Hey guys, welcome to Marketing 120, Principles of Marketing. This is the summer 2016 uh, semester. Uh, my name is Rob Harris, and I'll be the instructor for this class. And um, let's get you started here. I made this video, it, it, I think you'll find it will save you a lot of time just getting set up and knowing exactly how to approach the class kind of from the, from the global perspective, you know what I mean, the big picture. So first off, if you don't complete this summer 2016 attendance verification assignment, which is like four questions that are, you know, it's multiple choice, it'll take you two seconds to do, you're not going to be able to stay in the class, you will be kicked out. So make sure you do that right away. And you'll see that before you do that, you'll get down here to the bottom and you're going to start seeing all these different things that say not available, not available. Uh, and you're going to need to be able to get into that. So uh, make sure you go ahead and, and, and take care of that. So let's just see what happens when you click on this. Okay, so you're going to need to take this quiz. Oops, I can't show you right now because it's not available until tomorrow. But when you come in here, uh, you'll see, it, you'll just take this quiz. And then once you do that, it's going to open um, the rest of the course up to you. Now I'm going to only open uh, week one and then week two and then week, week three as we get to them. Otherwise, I'm afraid that people kind of try to jump ahead and they make a lot of mistakes and do poorly. Okay, so uh, you're going to need to complete that first and it's going to open up all sorts of things for you so you can complete your work. I'm going to send announcements out to you periodically, probably once a week, um, just to make sure everybody's still, um, you know, just let you know kind of how the class is doing and also if something changes maybe there's a hurricane and we need to uh, tweak the date of, a, of an assignment or something like that. Um, so let's take a look at this course syllabus. So the course syllabus this is going to have um, all of the uh, details and, um, and things like that with respect to the class here. This is a three credit hour class. Um, you can see some information about me here. Uh, let's see down here this is my phone number, my office, and my email address. Email is definitely the best way to get a hold of me. I check that just throughout as long as I'm awake. You know, if you send me an email, I'll hear it uh, ping and I'll go in there and, and get right back to you. If you leave me a message, it, it's going to be the next day before I get a chance to, um, to, to respond to you probably if I'm out of the office. If I get it while I'm here, obviously I'll call you right back, but um, you know how that goes. All right, materials and fees. So you're going to be using this book. Uh, there we go. There's a picture there. And so this is what the cover looks like. All right. And make sure you don't get a used book unless it comes with this course mate uh, access code because you're going to be completing some, some work online. And um, I'll show you all about that, the Cengage thing here in a couple minutes. But um, make sure that you do not get a used book unless it comes with that access code. Late work and missing exam policy, obviously um, late work is not going to be accepted unless it's something you've discussed with me beforehand. You know, if somebody's in a, a close family member is in a car wreck or a house burns down or something like that, of course, um, <laughs> of course that's not going to be an issue. But uh, if your internet connection goes down, that's not really an excusable uh, or something, a valid excuse, I, I should say. We have computer labs here on campus, and if one doesn't wait until the last minute, that shouldn't be a problem anyways. Um, grading plan for the course, I imagine you guys are interested in this. So basically, you're going to be doing two major things. Uh, you're going to be doing these course mate quizzes within this Cengage uh, homework management system. And there's also going to be these discussion boards. Now, every time, I don't understand why, people just don't participate in, this, in the discussion boards, and it blows my mind. If you're having trouble figuring out how to get in there, please let me know. But basically, you're going to go in. There's going to be some topics. I try not to make them too dry and um, you know, just going to chit-chat. So there's going to be 100 words. It's going to be uh, for each post. You're going to make one post yourself uh, to answer the question or whatever, and then you're going to comment on at least two other participants' uh, comments. So that's a total of three posts at 100 words each for 300 words. You can, in Microsoft Word, you can look and highlight it, and it'll tell you how many words you have. And I can see how many words you have um, if, you know, typed in there, just it shows it to me automatically. So, you know, just make sure you're not skimping, and if you're not following the uh, directions, I have no choice but kind of to ding you on that. 
Okay, and make sure you don't wait until the very last minute to make your post. Otherwise, it's kind of hard for there to be a discussion if um, you're doing it at the, at the 11th hour. So, the course mate quizzes are 80% of your grade, and the discussion boards are 20%. On a 10-point scale here, and of course, cheating is going to result in an F for you. Let's take a look at this schedule here. And of course, anything like this is subject to change, but I uh, will do my best to make sure that that doesn't happen. So, um, and look up here, it says, we will be skipping some chapters, so make sure that you pay attention to the schedule. There's a chance that um, in here, if we, or I'm sorry, there's not a chance it actually happens. Right here, we jump from 8 to 10. We jump from 12 to 14. Okay, 17 to 19. I tried to pick the chapters that I thought you would get more of, more from. And you notice here, we're going to knock out two chapters per week. All right? And so uh, that will allow us to, to knock out the, the amount that we need to, uh, to do great in this class. Course make quizzes and discussion boards. That's what's going to be due pretty much every single week. The only difference is uh, this first week we have course make quizzes, attend uh, attendance verification assignment, and the discussion board is going to be an icebreaker assignment so we can get to know each other. And it would be uh, highly appreciated if everybody would upload some type of picture of themselves for the Moodle discussion board. Uh, so preferably not a picture of your dog or something like that. And uh, that'll allow us, it's, it's, a, it's an online class, but that'll help kind of foster more of an in-class vibe to the, to the class. Okay, so let's go back to the main page again here. And give me one second, I want to show you kind of what some of these topics look like. Okay, so once you complete your um, attendance verification assignment, this is from the instructor view right now. So once you, once you complete this, then you'll see that there's an icebreaker discussion. You're going to introduce yourself to the class, and you're also going to complete this course make quiz for chapters one and chapter two. So all you have to do is click on this, and it's going to take you there. And you're going to be thinking, oh, man, what is this? Well, let me show you. This is this thing we're going to use uh, called Cengage. Record, they have different names for the same thing. Cengage and then CourseMate and then MindTap based on how um, elaborate the system is. But let me go back and show you kind of how this whole thing works. So up top, you're going to see this thing, and it says right here, how to log into CourseMate slash marketing online. You might see them refer to it as marketing online. They have sure have a lot of names for the same thing. I'm not sure why that is. But anyways, um, so the way it works is you purchase a book and it's going to come with an access code. In addition to that's like your proof of purchase. They need to know what class you're in. Okay. So this first time you're going to click in here and by the way see this at the end that's your little uh, the class code right here it is again down here at the bottom. So the easiest way is just to click on this. The first time you go in here, it's going to look just a little bit different. The, what I showed you a second ago when I clicked on it and it took you to the login page, it might look a little different. They have a bunch of different login uh, pages, so it doesn't matter how you get here, but once you're here, you're going to um, get in here. And um, if you're a new student, you're going to need to create a new account. And if you're a returning student, you just enter in your email address and password. But either way, you're still going to need that proof of purchase code. All right, and so once again, like I said, by using that code we saw a second ago, it allowed them to know that this was my class because there's a lot of people that use this book throughout the country, and so this little code right here lets them know that you want it to be in my class. Okay, so once you enter your course access code in and, um, and follow the instructions just to register, you're going to come in here and you're going to see that for each chapter, now remember we're going to skip some of these chapters, but for each chapter, let's just do uh, chapter one here, for example. You're going to come in here, and you can see all sorts of different things here. What is marketing? Um, there's lots of different videos, and uh, there's all sorts of different resources, uh, e-lectures, things like that. And so feel free to, to mess around in here because there's all sorts of stuff. Like I said, there's the e-books, um, chapter reviews. There's just all sorts of cool stuff in here, and um, I think you'll find this pretty interesting. And some of you see these down here; these are videos, and and some of you guys might find that it's hard to do all this simply with an ebook. But if you're out of town, maybe took a summer trip somewhere, and you realize, oh my gosh, I left my book at home. Uh, the cool thing is you can go on here and get on your tablet and read through things and, and make it happen. 
Now notice up here at the top, it says assignments. If you click on that, you're going to notice that every week, see it's there, there's two assignments there. There's going to be assignments for you. You're going to have these two quizzes, the chapter one quiz, and then here this is going to be the chapter two quiz. Right? So every, uh, every week we're going to be knocking out two of these quizzes. And you won't see the quizzes until, um, you, for example, you won't see the chapter three and four quizzes until, you know, after the due date for these two. So every Sunday you're going to be doing at least two quizzes and you will have done the discussion board that was three posts at 100 words each. So that's, that's what, uh, what you're going to be doing. I don't think it's too, um, too much for you to handle. And keep in mind this is a, uh, a summer school class so we cover the information twice as fast as we normally would. So once again, um, I'm here if you have any questions. I want to help. I'm here to, to hopefully help you succeed in this class, and hopefully you'll learn some things. And, um, yeah, let me know, and have a great summer.